Hi fam, welcome back to our channel, Design on the Dollar. I'm your host, Ida. And before I get into our DIY, I want to say um, welcome to all our new um, YT family members. And I wanted to thank you guys for us almost having 20K. I can't believe almost a year ago, I started this channel with a little uh, Thanksgiving DIY. And I just recorded that on my phone and I just posted it. I can't believe that you guys um, love the things that I put out. And I'm still trying to come up with a lot of new things for you guys. So let's get into this DIY. So this DIY has um, black and gold bling to the tint tint layer has mirrors and I have enjoyed this DIY I will tell you it's another time-consuming DIY and um, once again welcome to all our new YT family members and um, thank you to all of the ride or dies that's been with the, the channel since the beginning okay for this DIY you're going to need some black acrylic paint or some black um, spray paint you would need either some gold metallic spray paint and that's what I would recommend you're going to need 11 by 36 canvas you're going to need some toilet paper rolls and some um, or some paper towel rolls you're going to need two of these magnetic mirrors from the Dollar Tree you will need one 10 inch mirror that you can also get from the Dollar Tree you're going to need some Mod Podge. You're going to need some E6000. Some bling. You're going to need some whatever type of embellishments you want. And I'm using um, our girl Sharon over at Classy Shades Design. I'm using her bling wrap. So majority of this project is a Dollar Tree um, DIY and if you don't bling yours out it can be a complete Dollar Tree bling DIY. So guys the first thing you want to do is paint your board black and while that's drying we're going to prepare our um, paper towel and tissue rolls. You're going to cut them in small pieces. Um, some of them you can cut big but most people use the small ones and um i'm sorry guys for saying um <laughs> but i chose to use the small ones for this diy and the next thing you're going to do is you're going to have all these little pieces right here from cutting them up and you're going to take those outside and spray paint them gold but for demonstration purposes I'm going to um, just go ahead and show you the next step without actually spray painting them. So I'm showing you the design I chose, which is a floor design. And there's plenty of designs out there on YouTube. Just find which design you like and go with it. But I'm using that one. So after you have decided what design you're going to use, you're going to bling out each piece. Yes, it's time consuming, I know, but the, but it's worth the reward. And I was showing you the katana, but I don't use the katana when I'm doing projects like this. I use a nail head. And so I'm putting the Mod Podge on a piece of the tissue paper, not tissue paper, but paper towel roll. And I am laying out some of the gems. And what I like to do is turn all of them over so that um, the process of putting the gems on the paper tower roll or the tissue roll goes smoothly. 
So once I get them all turned over, I'll take my nail head, stick it into my podge, and just start putting the gems on top of the paper towel roll until it's completely covered on both sides. So guys, after it's co covered, you want to seat it off to the side so to let it dry. And I let mine dry. They normally dry within inside of five minutes. And then you're going to be finished with that part. So now on to the actual decorating our um, board. So if you don't have some bling like I have, you can use bling wrap from the Dollar Tree and just measure how many strips you need for each one and um, make sure if you do that that you don't um, cover up the ends you want to make sure that the pieces are still able to um, bend so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, bling wrap from our girl from Classy Shay's design and we're going to go ahead and line the well put the border around the the um canvas and this is going to assure that we have enough room for it and guys when you're putting this on don't tap it very hard just gently tap it because if you tap it hard then um the screen strings of hot glue is going to come through and it's going to dull it and it's, you're going to be able to see it especially against this black you're going to notice throughout this video that you see a lot of um, glue strand strings and what you can do is after you're all finished take a warm hair dryer and run it over the um, picture the canvas and it will melt all of those um, strands you can see some of them on the board now and i'm going to do this all the way around the board so now that our this um border is on we're going to go ahead and set the canvas up in the desired design that um we're going to use and i'm just showing you that i'm going to use the hot glue and I'm going to put each individual one up there. Most people put take two and glue them together, but we're not going to do that because I believe that um, it's better this way. And I do have a temperature gun that is work on high and low, and I have it on the high setting to give me the time that I need to put each piece down. So now you're going to see me put lay the design out and so you can see how each each part of the canvas is going to look and I'm showing you right here you need to make sure that the two pieces um, match in size because you don't want one larger than the other one. I'm going to continue to lay out the design. And once I get this side done, I'm going to move on to the second side. But for the purpose of the video, I won't show me doing that actual side. So now we have both sides done. The design is laid out and we're going to start gluing our design down to the canvas. And I'm just showing you right there, if you have one that you need to be smaller to get in the spot, that's why I say don't do the ends because you can squeeze the the tissue paper, tissue um, roll together to squeeze it in the spot that you need it to be in. So 
Sorry, I'm out of frames, guys. So we're going to do all of that. And then now that we're back and all of them are down, you're going to take two of the magnetic mirrors that I told you you need. You're going to take them out the encasing. And we're going to um, put those in the upper right and up the, in the lower left corners of the, or vice versa, um, of the canvas. And we're going to put the big 10-inch one in the center and as you can see I'm using the white um, E6000 because I, I just brought it one one time and it was the wrong color so I just use it on projects like this where it really doesn't matter what it looks like and so next what I'm going to do I'm going to take that bling wrap again from um, Flashy Shades Design and I'm going to put it two layers around the center mirror and I started out trying to use uh, the tacky glue but that wasn't working for me so I just switched over to um, my hot glue gun which my hot glue gun messed up and you see I had to bring out a handy dandy uh, little one um, and then after I put the two rows around the 10 inch mirror I am going to put one row of it around the small mirrors onto the small ones and I was showing you that I wanted something in those empty black spots so I cut five rows five columns across and put it in a diamond shaped pattern in, in those two spots and I, I think that gave it what it needed okay fam here she is I have her hanging up in the, well not hanging up, I have her sitting on the towel bar right now because I'm not for sure if I'm going to put it on that wall or if I'm going to put it up there um, once I get everything set up in here. And as you can see, um, all we used was toilet paper rolls, some mirrors from the Dollar Tree, some bling, some paint, and we have a gorgeous wall piece that you could have paid lots and lots for. Give you a side view with all the bling on it. And it goes well with our tray that we already made. It's okay guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.